hi and welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video it's going to be my instagram followers pick my next reads i'm going to go with three books i'm gonna share a poll on my insta stories with two books and then my followers pick one of them and then i'm going to read it i give it some reviews and then i do again and again like three times so in total it's three books please disclaimer if i'm kind of just numb in my face it's because my lips are swollen since yesterday and i'm still trying to figure out why but i am finishing like this book i'm going to finish now so but also it's kind of dinner time so I'm going to finish this today, but probably I'm not going to start another one today. So I'm going to put a, I'm going to put the poll on my Instagram now, so that tomorrow I can see what's the results, and then I can see which book I'm going to read next. I'm going to pick my book so I can show you what are the first two options, and that's it. Ooh, like I haven't been reading with my Kobo for like a month because I'm just reading paper books so hi I haven't seen you in a long time but I promise it's not going to take long okay I'll be back at you soon the first two options are going to be these two books the first one is The Cottage in the Islands by Julie Shepman and I just found out like guys here I present you the master, the pro. I should be on the Guinness book because I'm the master of buying books and then finding out that they are that, that they belong in a book series and they are not the first book of the book series. So I did, when I was going to read this because I was going to read this before, but then I went on Goodreads just to see the rating because I'm a narcissist and then. This was like the third book of that collection and I was like, the third book. Some book series, you can read them not as a book series and they still make sense, like each book still makes sense. And they don't mention the same characters on the briefing, so I'm hoping there is o it's okay because I'm not going to do the mistake of starting the collection, starting the book series on the first one and then not liking it but then just reading until I can read my paper book because now I want to compensate the money I spent on it. Like because before I would download the first two books on Kobo just so I could read this one but now I don't care, I'm going to read straight away the third one and then if I like it, I can read the other two ones and the next one, so that's it, like I'm the master of it, it's my set. The second book is All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover, like our queen, and it's not that big in fact, I don't know, like I'm sure I'm going to like this one because it's a clean over, even if it's not like a five star, at least I know it's going to be good, as I've already said many, many times here. So I'm going to upload a poll on Insta, like I'm going to post a, a poll on my Insta stories for you to choose between those, between these two, and then we'll see the results tomorrow. I have already started this book, it was the winning one. I was kind of just expecting that result because it's a clean over, so the other one I don't think it's like too known worldwide. It's her, everyone knows her, maybe you haven't read this one, but still if I was presented the two options I would recommend this one because they are a certain type of book. like they are an assured type of book you know that it's going to be great even if it's not perfect even if it's not 
Verity and It Ends With Us anymore because those ones are in the top of my books from Colleen Hoover's but even if they are not 100% excellent they are still great and I started this yesterday when I went to a sanctuary don't ask and because I also read a, a book in, in between the other one that I said I was going to end that day but it, it's a Portuguese book, it's from like Portuguese history when we were under the fascist government here so I'm not going really like to recommend it here because it's there's no translation but I started reading this yesterday I didn't read a lot because I was like it was a family Sunday travel day so I was not kind of in the mood and I also I was really tired because I've been sleeping really bad having like trouble sleeping so I'm just on page 30 but I read like two or three chapters by now and the first one when I read the first one I was already hooked with it like as okay this is going to be good at least from what I read I liked it and I was excited because it's like I think just 10% of the books I read in a lifetime they the first chapter was great for me like I find it really hard to like the first chapter or like the book just by reading the first chapter because I don't know like there's not too much context in some books and even though oh, it's good to be like so philosophical or just to get mysterious some books and some authors are not good doing that they are not good in just creating an, like an idea in the reader's book in a way that they want to figure out what's coming next that's my definition of a good chapter and this was one of the examples so I'll keep reading not now in fact because my life is kind of a mess right now I'm now halfway of the book like it hasn't been easy to find like reading sessions, reading moments for me because I am starting exam season this week so I'm kind of just in the books <laughs> into the books of uh, college and when I take small breaks or after dinner I'm too like I'm really too tired to just go and settle for a book or sometimes I really want to read but I feel that I'm not I'm, I should I'm wasting time reading and I should have been like studying even though I, I need to take breaks so it's kind of a dilemma but I'm now halfway of the book and I'm really I have been really enjoying this book like it, it is so good it's a clean over so I was expecting that but also like it was so good since the beginning like it's so good but it also makes me so sad since the beginning like it's not because I've read other books from other authors like they have tragic endings or I don't know something terrible happens in the middle of the book but this one it's just so heartbreaking and so I feel so frustrated since the beginning and if you read it you will know why I'm not going to spoil it because from the back you cannot figure what's happening and I don't think it's a spoiler but also it's uh, it doesn't say here so I'm not going to be the one telling you but it just makes my heart so like so little I feel that I'm going through the same stuff as they are going through and I'm I just can't stand it and since I'm like studying for the exam now I feel that I should be reading something more cheering up or, or something more relaxed and soft because even though it's a clean over us it's not something you have to think too much this one just it's like it's not a topic or an issue that I've been through already I hope I've never go through that but it's like it's not in my it doesn't match my like age year or like my age priorities but the way the way she describes it and the way she writes the story 
I can just feel the same thing as the main character even though I'm not in that live spot yet so I'm really sad and like I I feel so angry about it and I don't know what to do because I want to keep reading because I know something either good or bad is going to happen like something is going to happen for them to like change the situation but I can't because I have to study so that's my frustration because I want to read more but I can't <laughs> I've just read like five no three pages since I last taught here and something big happened and now I want I want to cry like I'm also on my period so maybe that's something that is not helping but oh my god <laughs> what the heck I wasn't expecting this clean you cannot do that to me right now okay. well I don't know where we are in this video because I've just been postponing like filming it because I was like filming it okay but then I have like holidays and exams and like everything got turned upside down but I wanted to say that I'm still recording it and we are now going to our third and last book that you are going to pick like you know my Instagram followers which is possible it's not you but you can be if you follow me on Instagram which is be here and I'm going to put a poll on Instagram saying you choose between Twisted Love and Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I have both physical books, so I'm going to ask you to choose between these two books, Twisted Love by Anna Wang and Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I'm really, really motivated and excited to read both of them, so I think either one you pick it's going to be like good for me but let's see this is our last poll so i'm going to wait a few hours maybe until tomorrow and then i'll see. you can see i just showered and i'm going to start twisted love now i'm really excited like actually i was going to read this at the same time as a friend like we would be like book but is in this book like we would bet it was my first day it was my first week of work and when i arrived home i was always exhausted so i guess that's my new life so she already uh binged the book like she already finished she didn't say like it was it changed her life but it was like really engaging and like a page turner i was expecting from this book so I'm not like mad or I don't feel less motivated to start it because now what I need is something like not too heavy or life changing. I just need something that keeps me like going, like keeps me reading because I'm like kind of <sighs> seeking for some relaxed time out of work. So we'll see. So I did finish. Twisted Love by Anna Wang and I don't know what to say like I didn't like it. it was a fast read like if I didn't have to work every day I would have read it like in two days or something because it's like fast paced and like I don't know it's just simple vocabulary it's not too complicated words and the story it's kind of like entertaining but it was awful like i didn't like it and i i was like what's your problem <laughs> because the guy was like so he had my issues like he had issues that he has to solve for his, himself before he jumps into a relationship even though they stick together <laughs> in the end i was like what the heck are you doing? Like, it was cringe all the time, not even in like sex scenes, but like just when they were talking or like 
every moment was cringe like the nickname he gave her like everything was so cringe and sometimes like I'm almost giving up on book talk recommendations and like booktube recommendations because these books they get so hyped up and then when I read them they're like what like this is the least I could read like and I don't know like how 20 year girls get excited about these books when I used to read them when I was like 13 so I don't know what's happening with generation things but like how do you get excited about the book and like how do you find it a good book like a five star book if it was so cringe and like there is no like the plot twist it gave me the idea that they had to incorporate something like just not only the romance so they just did a small plot twist in the end which was like too rushed and I don't know like I have no words to say I so that's it thank you for staying here for another video and we will see each other soon bye